Well, hello and welcome to Over the Vest Nurseries. It's a warm, toasty day in the middle of summer. The sun's beaming down and it's really, despite the toasty temperatures, a really nice day to be outside, especially when you've got lots of fabulous plants out here in the nursery to tell you about. Ones that you can find in a network of garden centers that are located right throughout our region. And if you'd like to find out more about each of these plants, then I'd suggest that you think about clicking and subscribing to our channel, because then as we feature new plants in our videos, you'll be first in line to find out about all of the exciting things that you might want to think about growing in your garden. And particularly now in summertime, when we find ourselves spending more and more time outdoors, it's wonderful to be able to plant things that are perennials that will come back year after year to give lots of exciting color and with many of them fabulous fragrance and also attract in things like pollinating insects and butterflies. And with the plants in front of me, you'll get all of those things because these are coneflowers and botanically known as echinacea. And as I panned across the wagon here, you'll see that there's lots of different types with different characteristics, ones that if you plant them around your home are certain to create a great deal of interest and excitement and brighten up our lives. And if you're looking for a very good variety of coneflower that you can enjoy growing in your garden, then let me draw your attention to this variety that's called Echinacea Sunny Days Ruby. Now this is a series that was developed at Terranova Nurseries by Harini Colopera. She's done some exciting work bringing us lots of really good varieties. And right here in front of me is what I consider to be one of her better, in fact one of the best of all the selections that she's bred in recent years. And the reason is that it's got a lot going for it. First of all, like the other ones on this wagon, it's perfectly hardy throughout our region. The other thing is that these are varieties that grow very well in a sunny, well-drained site. Now that's important because they just don't like to grow in wet, soggy conditions. So make sure that the site you're thinking about planting them in is free draining. An average soil will be perfectly okay as long as it's free draining. But with this particular variety, I want to draw your attention to the bushy, compact, free-flowering habit that it represents. As you see, these plants here have got lots of flower buds that are just beginning to break out now and show color. When these buds emerge first, they have these kind of unusual little ray florets coming up around a green cone. Then when they open out more, you'll see that they have a kind of flattish flower. And again, lots of these ray florets around the outside, which are the ones, of course, that give us the color. But then look what happens when the flower develops further you get this anemone-shaped flower here that rises up out of the center of the cone to give a lovely kind of three-dimensional effect to the plant. And then when I show you that the plants are stocky and bushy and compact, I think you can see that this is a plant that you could grow very well in a variety of situations in your garden. In fact, if you just have a small space somewhere and you're looking for a plant to put in at the front of the border, then this would be an excellent plant for that to, to do. It will get to about 18 inches to two foot high and spread out to make a clump of about two foot or so wide. And if you've got the room, and uh, the way I have them arranged here on this wagon, I think you can see that if you have the space and you're able to put them in at say 15 or 18 inch centers, then you're going to have a really nice sweep of lots of lovely color. So this is Echinacea Sunny Days Ruby, a fabulous variety raised by Terranova Nurseries that's available through a network of garden centers in our region. Compact, bushy, free flowering. 
it will start to flower in the earlier part of midsummer and if you go through and deadhead that means removing the flower heads when they begin to go over you'll see the florets will begin to discolor this one's perfect right here but you'll see how it begins to discolor and takes on brown coloration at that point you can go in and just snip out the old flower head and that encourages the energy to go into making lots of new flower buds that then keeps the color going right through through late summer and into the autumn time this is echinacea sunny days ruby